Right, this is my Axminster belt and disc sander in pieces and I'm just going to show you how I fitted a more powerful motor. The last motor I had on this setup wasn't powerful enough and when I applied pressure to the bell it was actually stopping it. So this is the belt and disc sander. I've taken the disc sander off of it as I've got a separate um, disc sanding machine in the shed. And this is the motor I have now. It's a Brook Crompton motor made in England. It's half horsepower. It came off of an old woodwork lathe and it's much more powerful than the last motor I had. The motor runs at 1425 RPM and I had to change the wiring, winding wires around in the electrical box on the back here so that it would run in the opposite direction and I've made a note of that on the inside of the box and on the outside of the motor. I've bolted the motor onto the top of this um, workbench trolley which I use in my workshop. Next the belt sander sits on top of the bench above the motor. And it's located on the existing holes in the belt sander and I've put two 10 millimeter um, threaded studding up from the underside so it's actually on those existing holes. I've um, cut the guard out so that it goes down over the motor, just the bottom part of the guard out there. And I've taken the um, plastic box that was over the back of the magnetic switch and put some um, tape over that. And then I've got this perspex here, two millimeter thick, um, screwed it onto the front of the guard there to cover the slots and um, to protect the vents on the motor. And I've drilled a hole there to go over the shaft of the motor. these height adjusters and leveling adjusters to actually get the um, belt sander high enough so it actually clears the motor. And I've got a couple of um, suitable um, pulleys and I had to bore this one out to fit on the motor shaft and the grub screw locates in the um, key slot. And you can actually use the um, adjusters on the bottom of the um, sander, the height adjusters, to fine tune the adjustment or the tension on the actual belt. And then just the 10mm nuts on the studding to hold the belt sander firmly down on its feet. And that's it, all ready to go.
so I'm very pleased with that so I hope you enjoyed the video and see how you can fit another motor on these Axminster belt sanders these are very good sanders they've got good bearings nice adjustment they're very strong um, this can lift up into the upright position as well and um, if you have one with a burned out motor or a faulty motor you can mount them on a table like this above the motor use the feet for height adjustment and also tensioning the belt and just remember if you're using a brook crompton motor like this one or a similar motor with open vents on this side it is best to cover up the vents on this um, axminster cover using this polycarbonate so that the dust can't fall down and get into those vents um, the air can get in from the underside here and I've made a slot in the actual um, tabletop there so the air can get drawn up from underneath the air gets drawn through the motor from this side and it doesn't matter about the vents on the back of the motor because the air is being drawn through this side